In Course 1 at MIT, we use data to understand global environmental challenges. For my PhD, I research how we can feed everyone on the planet without damaging the environment. There are already 7 billion people on the planet, and we're expecting another 2 billion to join us in the next 30 years. Feeding all of us is a big environmental challenge, because growing food requires natural resources, like land and water. Imagine a forest untouched by development. Using a computer, we can create a model that simulates the main water fluxes in the system, such as rain, river flow, natural evaporation from the ground and plants, and water that is stored in the aquifer. Water enters the aquifer as infiltration through the soil and leaves by evaporation or by joining the river as base flow. When farming comes in, the land and water balance is changed especially when farmers irrigate their crops with water pumped from the aquifer or from nearby lakes or rivers. Every piece of land is part of a larger system connected by rivers. With this simulation, we can experiment with different farming patterns and see their local and global impacts. By understanding the environmental impacts of our food choices through data and simulations, we can make better choices about how to feed ourselves and take care of our planet.